pieces are going to be flipped. And uh, the piece uh, at the bottom of the left side of the page, I will not be performing. I felt the piece was too long and it kind of didn't flow with the rest of them. But otherwise, uh, we're going to see if we can squeeze into our time what we can over here. Uh, this first pro uh, my grandparents uh, were from Clifton, New Jersey. So in many ways, being here at the Ant Bookstore in Clifton is a homecoming for me. And the grandparents I'm referring to in this first poem are those grandparents from Clifton. And uh, this is the last poem in my uh, book, Suburban Gothic, and it's titled The Last Promise. If Grandpa died first, Grandma would take the money, tour the world, take me with her. So she promised, stoking in my imagination imagistic fires, Turkish minarets, African sunsets over sweeping plains, romantic Italian harbors charred in black gondolas, ablaze in vibrant pastels. Now I am in Italy, most expenses paid, part of the inheritance both Grandpa and Grandma left behind. In Sorrento, I miss the last boat to Capri. Vesuvius lurks in the background, another reminder of lost opportunity. Italy came true in cobblestone terrace, bougainvillea reality, but the sweeping plains and minarets I imagined are now the effect of slamming clothes to giant illuminated manuscript, fine particles of dust shimmering in light, in reach until I reach, then they vanish. Waves cuddle boats in the harbor below. Across the water, lights of a new town bring life to Vesuvius in a last promise. For every chapter ended, a new chapter begins. <laughs>